I'm always posting new little videos. Last week I did like a um, paint with me with my son, Caden. It's always something different. So, so yeah, always lots of time to go back and see where you missed or if things go awry, you can go back and see what you might've missed. Yes, this is way more fun than cooking supper. I agree. All right, I'm going for um, coat number four, you guys, because mine is all dry. Yours should be dry as well. Um, some of you might be to the point where your white is white enough. Okay, so just making sure that it's nice and dry before we move on to your next step. So oh, here I am just stamping away and I didn't even have my camera down. Aren't I awesome? All right. Just getting some good old stamping on. It's funny when I teach this in class, I always tell the ladies to not go ahead, even though we all grew up with sponge painted walls. I had that in my basement. Apparently it was a decor thing. My mom painted the whole room, even the ceiling with sponges. It's like the worst thing to paint over. Nothing was even. All right, so my um, is super close. I feel like I need one more coat, um, but I do have a different brand of white paint again, because all the other white paint in Prince George is sold out, which is not helpful. Um, and I don't wanna buy the expensive stuff because it doesn't work very well. So I will require five coats of paint today. You guys should be like max two, three at the most. Oh, your hometown is Prince George. That's awesome. <laughs> I was saying, uh, Melanie, in the beginning of this, that um, I was trying to describe where Prince George was because we got called soft last week. And I thought, soft? I'm outside doing supervision in minus 22. That's not soft. <laughs> Just hanging out in the cold. <laughs> Dry, dry, dry. Can't put any more on until it dries. Um, also, some of you guys are from some really neat little places. Um, I had to look some of them up because I had never heard of them before. And it was kind of interesting to Wikipedia them just to like go right in to see where you guys are from and stuff. Some of you are from some really small communities. So that's very cool. I love little small communities. I think they're fantastic. It's like your own little family. All right, last coat for me. Whoop, too far. All right. This is my last coach. How do I know? Well, this is kind of what I've decided. Some people really, really like it to be a strong white. Some people like it to be that little bit of that washed out look. Um, have to each their own but the great part about these signs is that although they're the same they all turn out very differently so that's really nice we got married there i described it in our wedding letter that it's bc's northern capital yes and it's northern capital we are the hub of the north so although we are a town of just over eighty thousand, we actually service over three hundred thousand people so we're definitely the largest community. And you guys, we have a Costco. That says we're big right there. Costco's where it's at. We had a Walmart. We still have a Walmart. We have Walmart too, but you know you're big when you got Costco. Right? Okay. So if you guys are to where I'm at right now, where your white is nice and dry, you can move on to your colors. Okay. Um, if you had other colors, you're more than welcome to use them as well. Um, I just gave you guys three little colors. 
Okay. So um, same thing as the white, you're going to dab it on very lightly. I think it's the blue that's a little bit painful when it first goes on, but um, as you layer it up when it's dry, it'll get brighter and brighter. All right. All right. Again, I'm going to cheat and put this right on my stencil. If you're in one of my classes, usually I have like a, I give you a paper plate and pour it out. This will work too. Just less things to throw in the garbage later. Well, and lots of our paper we burn in our bonfires. All right, um, you can do any pattern you want. Obviously it's your sign. I don't care, I'm good. All right, so mine's gonna be a little bit of different. Um, I was a little bit tempted to throw some sparkles in your guys's kits. I'm glad I didn't because that means that every, like there would have been sparkles everywhere. But if you wanted to add sparkles, make sure you do it after you remove your stencil because sparkles, um, whatever's in the sparkle paint, is a little bit rubbery. And uh, uh, I don't know what you're doing here. Can you explain a little more? Yeah. Is that Janice? Yeah. Yeah, so just these are the colors now, right? You're just doing your lights. So do you see my colors? Yeah. So you're just filling in those little light bulbs. Oh, okay, okay, I see it now. All right, thank you. you. Know? Yeah, no worries. So just whatever colors you want. Well, obviously I only gave you three colors, but whatever pattern you want. Can you, Janice, can you see it on my screen though? I can see it, but I, I, because it's all white, I can't see what you're doing. Oh, well, that's handy. Lobby, kind can of. you see it now? Is it still blobby? Yeah, it's just a big blob of white, basically, to me. Oh, I'm but gonna hold it up like this then. Now I understand. <laughs> and then, Janice, just so you remember, just really light thin coats, okay? So, and then using, you know, green, green sponge, blue, blue sponge, red, red sponge. So just use a different sponge for every color. I'll hold it up like this without it dripping all over everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys, I almost started singing and humming. That would have been awkward. I think I'm just going to do green and red today. I do so many of these. Oh, I already did one blue, though. Gosh, I should have paid attention to that. Okay, so it should look like this. All of your little lights, different colors. Oh, I can totally show you the finished one. Absolutely. Let's see if I can get a good angle. There we go. So this is what it looks like finished. Right? We haven't gotten to this part yet though, Janice. <laughs> If we get it on the wood, like, should we like right away wash it off? Will it right away off? wash it off. It'll come off. I put a clear coat on for you. So you can just wipe it with a piece of tissue or something, but then a little bit of water. Yeah. Um, acrylic paint is kind of funny. You can wash it off right away. I mean, it'll stain a little bit, but um, once it's dried for a day, it actually doesn't come off anymore. And if you get it on your clothes, it doesn't really come off either.
Yeah, mine looks like a white blob because it is a white blob because it's just got white all over it. <laughs> Vanessa, did you want to see the finished one again? Okay, perfect. All right, how are we doing everybody? Okay, yep. Do all the lights go one way? What do you mean? I see that you have green and I, blue up at the pool. Okay, so I, um, Lisa, that's where just where I put my paint because I just was, I literally just put it right on my stencil. So just okay. ignore this part. <laughs> you guys have little containers. I just took it right from the big bottle and poured it right onto my stencil. <laughs> Good question. I was thinking, what direction are they supposed to go? I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, usually I put my, my paint on a plate, but um, I was just saying, then I don't, it's just easier. If we got some red or blue or green on the string, should we go over it with white or just live with our little mistake? <laughs> That's totally up to you, Lori. Okay. Um, you can totally go back over it with the white if you want. You could also try and take like a little Q-tip and a little bit of water on the end of the Q-tip and wipe it off. Okay. Um, and okay. then put a little bit of white on. It's up to you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Just going to put you guys on mute for two seconds. So you guys should be super close to being done, right? Everybody's just dabbing away. Yeah, <laughs> literally dabbing. <laughs> I can dab too. <laughs> My son was just saying the time that I tried to dab beside him, I accidentally poked him in the eye. Apparently, you're not allowed to aggressively dab. And apparently, adults aren't supposed to do it either. We're not very good at it. Tree 10? Okay, so for those of you that are done, and dry. 